what's up? Welcome back. Today I have an outfit inspiration video for you guys. The 4th of July is right around the corner. So this is a last minute five outfits with lots of hand gestures video for you to get inspired on things to wear on July 4th this Thursday. I have no idea why there were so many hand gestures in that opening, you guys, but here we are. So I have five looks for you guys to inspire you for the 4th of July, depending on what you have going on. So I'm going to jump into the first look, which is probably the one I'm going to be wearing. I have paired a swimsuit that I got recently from Boohoo. I don't know if you guys remember this, but this was kind of one of those Versace-esque prints on a red swimsuit. It has some blue in it, which I think is really cute, um, and it has a great fit. So it's a really nice little swimsuit to wear. Typically, I wear it with the belt that it comes with, but I took it off to pair it with these white little shorts. This is so great if you're going to a backyard barbecue slash pool party. That's my plans for the fourth, is we're gonna go to a cookout, and we're gonna go swim, and we're gonna watch the fireworks. It's gonna be so much fun. So I know that I wanted to wear a swimsuit or have a swimsuit underneath um, my outfit, and so I just figured why not take this red one that has a bit of blue in it and pair it with my white shorts. And I definitely have kind of a low-key, patriotic look so it's not overtly over the top. None of these things are overtly over the top. It's more like we, we classy, but we patriotic, but we classy. You know, we don't have to go like stars and stripes forever. We can kind of give a nod to it. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear the landscapers are here. We're pushing through, we're pushing through. So that is the first look. The second look I really think is perfect if you're going over to your in-laws or you're going over to your parents. You want something that's a little more modest and a little more kind of just ladylike and classy, but still a little patriotic. So I pulled my red Reformation dress, the one I got. Um, I'll link the Reformation video up in the cards with the end card so you guys can check it out and get my full review. But this is a really great like just tank top dress. It has a really nice wide skirt. It's past the knees, so it's a very modest length and is very light and airy, so you're gonna be comfortable all day. I'm really, really loving this. Um, and this is really great too if you're going to a cookout or something where people don't have a pool, so you're not gonna be getting wet and you'll be staying dressed all day so this is a great one and I paired this with an oldie but goodie I dug out of my closet I'm kind of like I when I found this in my closet I was like oh my god I totally forgot I even had that this is perfect so I paired it with this little denim vest I got from Tor like a trillion years ago I hope they have another one if not I'm gonna link some of my favorite denim jackets because this is just really what it comes down to is blue red and then I painted my nails white so we're bringing in the theme but we're cute we can even do like a little red, a white bow in the hair or something um loving these two together I especially love this vest because it hits me in such a good spot that it just like accentuates accentuates my waist and then the skirt gets to like have its best twirl moment really really great so again a very fun casual um, look for when you have to be a little more dressed or you're not going swimming and you want to be comfortable But you still want to look kind of on theme. Okay, so to be fair this next look is kind of not 100% on theme and not 100% accurate but we're going with it so I am starting with a black bodysuit this is the foxy bodysuit from Torrid I don't know if I think my have I have a, a video coming that's just styling bodysuits um, and I'm gonna talk a lot about this in that video so stay tuned for that but I'm starting with a black bodysuit and I'm pairing it with a black skirt um, this one I got from Rachel Roy in the Macy's inside the dressing room I love this skirt it's so perfect for work by the way this is a work look I definitely forgot to tell you guys that but this is a work look and then I paired it with assuming your nails are painted white and or blue and white I paired it with this gorgeous gorgeous lightweight stretchy blazer from Lane Bryant and I just threw it over the shoulders because um, it's 110 degrees and it's really hot even in the house um, but I like okay fair enough that this is a red and white office look so is it truly patriotic no but if you have a navy purse and your nails are white, it kind of is, we're living with it. So I wanted to give a little inspiration to the babes that are working either on July 4th or want to bring a little bit of that patriotic vibe into their work week. I love an all black look for the office. It's always gonna be chic and classic. And then throwing on red with a navy bag and like some white nails and you're like good to go because you're on theme but it's not too over and you're still ready for work, ready for meetings and you're good to go. So yes, it's cheating and I'm still keeping it in. Okay, so let's say your plans are like a cookout, maybe there's a parade, you guys are gonna go out and watch the fireworks. So you want something cute, casual, on theme. I'm starting with this red bodysuit from Torrid. 
Again, keep your eyes out for that bodysuit styling video to get more information on these bodysuits in particular. Spoiler, they're awesome, but I give you like a bunch of looks um, or a bunch of ideas on how to style this. So start with the red bodysuit and then grab your favorite cutoff. So you have your red, you have your blue. These are my blue cut or my denim cutoffs from Eloquy. I've talked about them at length, so I won't spend too much time, but they are absolutely my favorite, favorite, favorite. And then if you're bougie like me, you're gonna bring in some Chanel and Gucci. If you're not, get some white earrings and then get a fun bag. So I paired my outfit with these um, white Chanel acrylic earrings. I've had these for like 10 years now, um, and they are so useful, especially in the summertime, because the acrylic makes them really playful and fun. Um, and you know, then and then you're bougie and you're fancy and you think you're somebody, you're not. But do you think you're somebody? So I paired it with those, and then I also paired it with one of my new purchases, a Gucci Sylvie in white. This is so cute. I actually took me a while to be like, oh my god, this is like the most patriotic bag ever. Um, but the stripe on this, instead of the classic Gucci green and red, I got the navy and red with the gold hardware and the white leather. It's absolutely stunning. It has this beautiful bow on the side with the gold detailing. I'll link something similar if I can't find this on pre-sale or um, on resale down below. Um, just a gorgeous bag and I feel like it amps up the bougie to it, but it's also really patriotic. So if you're bougie and fancy and you want to keep your, you want to get your Gucci on for the fourth, grab a Gucci bag like this or don't grab a Gucci bag and grab something that is red and blue and white and just throw it on as a nice crossbody so your hands are free to do whatever you need to do, but you're still on theme. Okay guys, our last look is what I picture if I were younger or if I were, you know, kind of going out and spending the day out and about with family, friends, doing a ton of activities I would want to look cute but super casual and able to just run around and get dirty and do what I need to do um, so I'm starting with a base of a white bodysuit again that torrid bodysuit so good got it in all the colors so white bodysuit to start and then I'm pairing it with my FTF acid wash overalls as my blue so these are actually really adorable and kind of fun um, they fit really nicely I got them in a size 3x because they're a non-stretch and I wanted I like an oversized overall you guys I do I like an oversized overall this is just the cutest thing with the white underneath um, I like to cuff them so that gives it more of like a casual vibe throw on some sandals and then to pull in the red I wanted to do something fun so I grabbed this little headscarf I got at Target and it's largely maroon based but there's definitely shots of red white and blue in it so that it really does make things a look a little more festive I just tied that up in my hair so it keeps my hair out of my eyes if I don't want it and then I have the most like cute little festive adorable 4th of July look like it's just it's so cute I totally picture someone in like Michigan or the Midwest or something that's like gonna be out all day and maybe you're doing a bonfire and you're doing fireworks and all that stuff and you're out having some beers or something this is just a fun cute casual look um, that is definitely on theme and is a little bit different than kind of your run-of-the-mill 4th of July look okay guys so that is it for me and this 4th of July five outfits to inspire you super last-minute video I hope that you saw something that you liked in here and you got a couple of ideas on what to wear for the 4th. Obviously this stuff just isn't for the 4th of July. You can wear it whenever you want and wherever you want and however you want. But I thought it would be kind of fun to put together some red, white, and blue with the exception of the work look which I understand is cheating and we're not going to discuss it. Um, kind of looks just to get you there for the 4th um, and also for any other day that you want to do because I know that a lot of people will go for stars and stripes and you know the old navy tees and all that stuff and um, I even believe that Tord used to sell like cutoffs with stars in them which were very cute and very on theme but I I wanted to do something a little bit different so I do hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell on your way out and give me a like if you did like this video and if you don't like this video give it a thumbs down it's okay I can handle it we're all adults here it's gonna be just fine um, if you have any requests leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video I love you happy 4th bye I literally just malfunctioned